I don't care what people say, the ancient Ram Inn is definitely haunted, beyond a shadow of a doubt. My name is John Humphreys. I'm the owner of this ancient pile. It wouldn't be here, but I bought it 40 years ago from Whitbreads, a condemned ruin just about to be demolished for road widening. I stopped the council knocking it down. And it wasn't long before the directors of Whitbreads came to me and uh, they said, you're a very lucky man to be here, Mr. Humphreys. I said, am I indeed? Why is that then? You left it empty for five years, just about to be demolished for road widening. They said, had we known the age of the building, we never would have closed it. They didn't know. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. It's a thousand years old. It dates back to William. The, the front part dates back to William the Conqueror. It's so old, the builders of the church you see today on the other side of the road lived in here, ate and drank in here. He was very helpful as regards to showing us around because of course we'd never been there before and um, he was just really nice about it. He showed us around in some of the tales that happened, like, you know, spooky things going on. And um, he said the most active room was the Mayflower Barn, which it was. On the settee, three weeks ago, the incubus appeared, wrestling with me, one o'clock in the morning. Always next to me, as protection, is my Bible. Now it's no good just having a Bible, you must have faith to go with it. I called on God to get rid of it, and he did. Now this is very well known, the Americans have made three films about it. One's called Incubus, another one is called The Entity, and another one, The Haunt. I know a man at Sirencester. He's five years older than me. He's 85. And he is also plagued by this Incubus. It's driving him mad. He's been to the church, they performed an exorcism service on him, done no good at all. Well, he came to me, could I help him? I said, help you, chum, I, I need help myself. <laughs> well, here is the haunted barn. This, according to what I'm told, is full of children's bodies. The Mayflower Barn, when I first went in there, I walked towards the fireplace and I turned round facing my son who had his camera, movie camera rather, and um, I was pushed but on the, on the arm quite strongly and it definitely went a nervous reaction and it scared me. 
I didn't touch it. Well, it's somewhat definitely it felt human. You might have caught it on something, because that's no, why I did. No, there's nothing there. Right did here. it touch you on your shoulder? No, it touched me there, on my elbow. No, you can, I've played out the footage to prove that I didn't touch you. You'll be able to see the camera move if I touched you. I've got both hands on the cameras at all times. Well, somewhat definitely touched me. And there was nothing by the side of me from, from about that way, because you've got bits of wood and that on the left hand yeah. side, haven't you? And I'm there in the middle on the on the plank, and Adam's a little way, and he got both hands on the camera, right? Mm. And all of a sudden, this is exactly what it was like. That arm. I don't know. Like that. This is happening all the time now. John used to have a routine of um, banging an old crook on the bishop's room door to see if there was anybody inside, which sounds a bit funny, but. Um, Sometimes you'd hear bits of noise going on the other side in the, in the bishop's room. Other times he would bang on the door with the crook and nothing really happened. And when you're, you live alone in the ram, this is what you hear. That is very, very scary. Oh, yeah. People run out. It's ruined a lot. Now when the Queen goes to Parliament, she's not allowed in until Black Rod bangs on the door as permission yeah. and you're not allowed in here until you knock on the door three times is there anyone here is there anyone here is there anyone here well, the bishop's room, uh, that was a room with three beds in it. Um, not a lot went on in there. Um, the door did slam on his own once. Uh, but that's all I recall of the old um, bishop's room. We're outside. Is there anybody in there? Is there anybody in there? Because we're going to come in now. What do you think of this room now? It's probably the best best uh, room out of the lot, I think, for history. Fantastic. You're not going to believe this, but as I pressed record, an orb shot right past you. It went right up. That would come, that'll come out on camera. In front of me? Yeah, it, it shot straight up past your shoulder. Yeah. That would come out on camera. Well, what you don't always think with these orbs, what you don't always see, I've taken pictures of Adam out in the car park with that Olympus camera, got it developed and there's three or four orbs suddenly appear on the thing. Now if I, like I said, my brother-in-law Derek, he's a semi-professional photographer, you know how long he's been taking photos, a long, long time, when we knew we were knocking about together, right? And he said he's never ever seen an orb appear on the photos he's taken. Well, he hasn't taken photographs here, has he? <laughs> no, and he hasn't taken the other places uh, that are a bit haunted as well. Yeah, I think. I don't think they're harmful, I think they just. It's just. Uh, unexplained, isn't it? It's unexplained. An, an orb is a circle within a circle of, of energy. This is the most active room in all the run. More so than the Mayflower Barn. Huh? More so than the Mayflower Barn. Yes. This is where devil worship took place at the evidence of it up the chimney. It's getting really cold. Freezing. It's drop temperatures dropping, isn't it? Do you reckon or not? It's cold. It's bloody. The temperature's dropped, that's the only thing I can say, but it is December. What's that noise? A clicking noise, huh? No, that might have been the door vibrating.